here we have a Foxwell NP510 OBD2 scanner. This scanner will allow you to get into multiple control units on BMWs. Uh, not only the ECU or the engine control unit, but you can get into like the EGS or transmission control unit. You can get into ABS and read codes and clear codes from um, multiple systems. So, uh, the first thing you do is you just plug this scanner into the OBD2 port right underneath the dashboard. And uh, turn on the ignition, and the scanner will turn on. You can go into OBD2, but that will only scan um, right here. Uh, that will only scan the ECU. So, we can do that real quick. So, right here, you can press OK. And you're going to scroll down, read codes. You can see stored codes or pending codes. And there is P1197. Now if you come back, you can uh, go ahead and clear the codes or check emission readiness, see if your vehicle is ready to be taken for emission inspections, for example. All the systems here need to be okay. Um, if you have more than one incomplete, that means uh, you probably fail your um, state emission test. And uh, NA doesn't matter because it means that this car doesn't have, uh, for example, a heated catalyst. Um, monitor system and stuff so uh, but since that's only for the ECU let's say you want to read codes from another system like the airbag so you come over here and you select BMW and this will also work with Mini and Rolls Royce uh, you can uh, enter VIN or you manually select the model and the chassis of your BMW the easiest thing to do is just press scan VIN And after about a minute, uh, you can come here and you have the option to select the control unit that you're interested in. And here you can go bat, body ch chassis or drive. Let's say we want to look at the airbag uh, control unit. So here are all the systems that uh, you can scan and it's all over like 74, which is every possible control unit that could be installed on a BMW but this model is gonna uh, only has about 30 of these systems and it can get confusing here because um, there's more than one airbag uh, modules so you don't know like which one has the code like if your airbag light is on it's like how do you know which one is the module that has um, the code stored so it could be the safety gateway you know you can enter that and read codes And it doesn't have any codes so in this case we know it's a defective passenger seat mat and that is usually stored on the airbag and this uh, BPL right module SBSR so if you go there we should see a code for the uh, passenger seat mat let's see right here we are into the airbag um, BPL menu uh, or module and right here where it says the reading codes it should actually um, it should say ECU information if you enter that and uh, that's right, it just tells you hardware number, so that should be ECU information. And this right here, ECU information, should be reading code. So there's our backwards, and uh, maybe a software update would probably fix that problem. But uh, here you can see the seat occupancy detector. Uh, there is a communication fold there. This is one of the most common problems with these BMWs. Uh, once you fix the problem, oops, sorry, you can come back and do read codes, press enter, and then you can just press um, F1 if you want to clear them. So just just keep in mind this uh, maybe a newer version of this scanner will, will have this fixed, but these menus here uh, don't represent what's what's in there, but they're pretty easy to figure out. So um, let's say um, let's look at an easier way to scan the codes though, because um, if you don't know which control unit has the fault, you might spend all day trying to look at all the different uh, modules there and read. You can just come back here and a um, couple of menus and press auto scan, press enter. What this will do will go through all the different control modules installed on this BMW and then you can just um, look at the codes for those ones. So this uh, is at 3% right now, it does take a couple of minutes, so let's give it some time.
So here we are, the scanning is complete. You can see the different uh, control modules. There's a fault on this uh, airbag uh, B pillar, right? Just press enter. And then here you can go and read the codes. There it says seat occupancy detector, passenger communication fault. And once you do replace the seat mat, you can come back in here and um, you can clear the codes. You can just scroll through this um, menu here and if you just can review all the units that uh, or the modules that have a, a, a fault. There's a navigation here, the CCC. And there's a code for that and it does say present or sorry not present so that means we can just go ahead and clear this code communication error there as well but anyway this uh that's how you can use this module to um to scan the